Hi, I'm Kathy Cooks and welcome to my channel. I am pivoting my channel. This has been a channel with just food for 200 episodes. And now I'm switching it because I'm at a time in my life, 53, and I am like, what the heck is going on with my body? In the last year, I've gained 15 pounds and I am like, what has happened to me? I feel like my body's betrayed me, but yet it hasn't. It is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. I just don't know what's going on, so I needed to educate myself. First book I bought was this one, The New Menopause, and it's by Mary Claire Haver, medical MD. She's an OBGYN, and it's written very well. I did not know my body had so many hormones in it. I, I really thought I had estrogen, testosterone, progesterone. I didn't realize it. This book is phenomenal at educating anyone regarding menopause. And she also has a book. This one just came out in 2024. After I read that, within two days, I had her first book, The Galveston Diet. Now, this one is her protocol of how to get rid of that stubborn belly fat and to eat better to help your body balance its hormones out. A plethora of information in here and a diet plan, recipes, all sorts of good stuff. So here's the skinny. I have weighed for the last 10 years within a five pound range of 158. It's been easy to keep at that, but then I jacked up to 173. I had not weighed 173 until, let's see, it had been, my son's 23, so it's been 22 years since I've weighed 173. That shocked the heck out of me. I was seeing fat in places I'd never seen it before. I actually had belly fat and I actually, what led me to these books is, you know, at night you don't have your bra on and um, like I'm laying there. So I might've been hunched a little bit, I'm not sure, but I had like, and I don't have big boobs. So I've never really had boob belly touching issues before, <laughs> but I did. And I was like, what is that uncomfortable feeling? It was like my belly, my boobs aren't sagging because they're too small to sag. My belly had reached up to my boob and it was just horrendous. And it felt like more armpits, you know, more skin touching skin. It was gross like that. Like, I'm sorry, I've never had to deal with that. I've always had a thin waist, small up top. If I gained weight, it was gonna be in the butt and thighs. But now my body is has this visceral fat from like here to here. Well, actually here to here because I, you know, my face was all round and chubby and I just didn't know what to do. I had never dealt with these issues before. After I had my boob and belly touching, it was like, that's it. Something's got to give. So I am four and a half weeks into the Galveston diet. Um, week one was like very learning curve. She gives you great recipes and, and I did a few of them, but you know, I'm a home chef, so it's really hard for me to follow a recipe. So I looked at them all, I studied them all, and I did my own thing. By week two, I had lost two inches off my belly and one and a half inches off my hips. I loved having the measurements because you're not supposed to wait. You're supposed to wait at the beginning and then not wait for three weeks. By week three, I just, I weighed and I had lost 4.8 pounds. Um, I feel thinner now, um, but me and the scale go back a long, long way. Uh, let me give you a little history of my weight. I was born almost 11 pounds. Now, this means I have been fighting my weight since the day I was born. By either 10 or 12, my sister and I cannot remember exactly, I was on Weight Watchers. Why? because my mom was on Weight Watchers and always struggled with her weight. So I have been a Weight Watcher devotee for what? 40 years, a little over 40 years, but it wasn't working for me. My sister too, we both this last year have been on and off the Weight Watchers app probably three or four times trying to get this weight off and it wasn't working. 
I am not bad mouthing Weight Watchers. I love their program. Been on it, never been really overweight. I mean, 173 is as big as I, I was, except for being pregnant. Um, so, you know, that's not too alarming. Weight Watchers has helped me so much keep in check. But for right now, I needed something different, something more. I had to understand my body and this was working great. So I have seen amazing, amazing results so far. Super happy about it. I wish I would have taken a picture of myself so I would have a before and after. What I did have was a picture um, back from April when we had the lunar eclipse. I happen to be in Arkansas, one of the best viewing spots to see it. And I have a picture of myself that I'm just looking up at the sky. Now I'm wearing the same clothes today because I wanted you to see um, the difference. And then I took a picture of myself today outside looking up at the sky again, just so you could see the difference. Now in the first one that I took, that was two months ago. Look, I mean, look at my, my belly showing, like I'm looking up and, and you can see my belly. Like I remember that day clearly because it was like, oh my gosh, I'm at my mother-in-law's house and you know, in order for my shorts to fit or in order for my belly not to show, I'm having to pull up my shorts. So my shorts are too short. And, you know, like it just was awkward. And then like, if you look at the picture, like my arms are kind of out a bit and, and the sleeve here is up like this. So like the sleeve is up like this and, and this is poking out because my arms like right in here were, were really big and, and they're still a little big. And, but like, it was just all like, what is this? Like this chub here and then like my belly, like it's gone down, but I still have some, I still have some menopause belly here. Like I'm just not used to that. You know, I'm used to, you know, being able to wear a bikini in my fifties is what I was doing and I'm not anymore. Um, now I don't mean to be insensitive. I know there are uh, women out there that have a lot more than 15 pounds to lose. You can do it. But for me, it was very shocking because like I told you, I have been on a diet since the day I was born. I have been fighting and fighting and fighting not to get overweight and for weight to come on me and me not even be able to enjoy it by, you know, cause like, it wasn't like I got to eat more. It just poof appeared. So these two comparisons, I hope you can see the difference. Cause I'm like, wow, even in my face and like right in here feels so much better. Well, guys, I think I've babbled enough for today. My next episode, we are going to be going to the grocery store. I want to take you to grocery stores to show you what is delicious and that you can use. And then we're going to do a little cooking too. So this channel is now going to be everything aging. And we are going to talk about the issues that we have as women as we get older. And we aren't going to be ashamed of it. Thumbs up subscribe and send me a comment. See you next time.